I joined Strathmore in 88. I was uh, one of the 844 kids who joined Strathmore High School. And uh, so, you know, graduated 91, class of 91. Shout out to, to everyone, class of 91. Uh, but then in addition to being being in high school, I was also part of like Hod Hodari Boys Club. So I had sort of that extended relationship with, with Strathmore in that vein. And then when I, uh, when I cleared school in 91, I joined Strathmore College. I worked at Strathmore College and I attended IDPM classes at Strathmore College. And in fact, when you think about Strathmore College being in Lavington and then transitioning to Nairobi West, I was one of the people who helped transition to Nairobi West. So those are sort of the traditional ties I have to Strathmore. How did I get into tech? Um, so I have an interesting story to share with you, Doc. So uh, finished high school in 91. I remember seeing all these people across the street at Strathmore University wearing suits and ties. And I also always wondered, what is it that these guys do? And so when I finished in 91, went to see my results, and I knew that it would be a year before we started college, uh, started university. So I walked across the street to Dr. Joseph Sevilla, he's now Dr. Joseph Sevilla, and told him, I want a job. Um, he doesn't know this, so I don't know if this is on the record or not, but I wanted a job so I can dress in a suit and tie, right? And so uh, he asked me two fundamental questions. One, do you know what a typewriter is? I said, yeah, yeah, I know what a typewriter is. And he asked, do you know what a computer is? I said, I don't know what a computer is. But he said, okay, you know, you learn. So he brought me in and introduced me to, actually to you. I don't know if you remember. And uh, you pointed at this thing and said, this is a typewriter. I said, I'm familiar with it because I've seen my mom use it. Then you turned to the right and you introduced me to the world of computing. And what that was, um, I don't know, 30 years ago or so. And so that was probably my introduction to tech. And in some ways, I've had tech in me ever since. Google Hospitality. Wow, welcome, welcome to Google. My son, Chase, is eight, almost nine. Um, he asked me this two or three years ago. He said, Daddy, when growing up, did you, did you know that you wanted to work in, in technology, in internet and computers? And I told him, son, when I was your age, there were no computers, there was no internet, there was no technology. So there was no career. And so I think a lot of people think uh, or get fixated on a career specific versus a domain that will make them happy. And so technology continues to be a tool. And if you utilize that tool well, you can really bring a lot of equality around the world. Like just imagine what technology has done for the people in Kenya. Think about what M-Pesa has done. Think about the businesses that have been created as a result of technology. So my advice to people, especially the young budding like technologists is outside of the technology, what is it that you want to do to impact the world? Then once you decide what that is, find the technology that's going to allow you to do it and use that as a grounding principle.